Let's do our warm-ups and a little back strengthening today. So come into your mountain pose, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, shoulders back and down. Activate your rib, your core with the ribs in and up. Lengthen your spine. Relax your arms and just take a moment to focus inward. Breathe deep. Exhale, stress as always. And then inhale your arms to shoulder level. Hands to your heart, elbows back. Stretch out to the front as you inhale, but keep your shoulders down. And then clasp your hands gently behind you. Just interlace the fingers and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, get a nice back bend started, and then pivot at your hips. Come on all the way over. As deeply as you'd like today, lift your hips, move your arms toward your head. Straighten your legs a little bit more. Move your chin around, release your neck. And then bend your knees slightly. Start at the bottom of your spine. Just wind all the way back up and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, drop your shoulders, and another nice back bend, just lifting the heart. Inhale upright, release your arms, and feel your spine getting more activated. We'll do the same thing, reaching out, hands at your heart, and out to the front. Clasp the opposite way behind you, so shift the fingers in one position over. And again, lift into the back bend, just gently, and pivot at your hips. Toes straight ahead, knees angling toward your second toes, hands toward your head. Feel those shoulders start to loosen a little bit more. And again, just wind once more from the bottom of the spine all the way into the back bend. Chest high, shoulders down. Take a moment to breathe and focus inward as you come back upright. Arms releasing, feel that spine, upper body more energized. Stretching out our sides next, let's bring one arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand over your shoulder. Push the hands apart, lean to the side. Don't lean forward, remember straight to the side so those ribs open. Push the foot you're leaning away from down as you stretch the head and hand away. Breathe into those ribs that stretch. And then inhale up, exhale that side down, and bring the other arm in. Palm to the ceiling, hand over your shoulder. Push away and lean to the side, no twist. Make sure you're not dropping forward with your shoulder. Stretch out, pushing the foot down and the hand away, getting those ribs stretching even more. And inhale up, releasing into mountain pose. Getting ready for our twist. So stretch the spine apart. Bring your arms again to shoulder level. Palms up, hands over your shoulders. Clasp your elbows and bring your arms next to your ears. Keep everything straight as you stretch apart and turn to one side. Take a breath, stretch that spine. Pivot over, keep the weight on both feet as you come all the way down as deeply as you like. Arms stay next to your ears, sitting bones lift. And just feel that twist in your whole upper body. On an inhalation, stay in your twist as you come up. And let's go only upper body for the back bend. So lift your heart, don't overwork your low back. Take a moment, breathing, stretching. Lifting. Inhale up, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, stretch the spine apart, turn to the other side. Breath in and pivot over in the twist on this side. And again, keep that upper body relaxing, lifting your hips and weight on both feet evenly. Feel the twist as you come back up, just inhaling gently into that upper body back bend only. Don't overwork your low back when you twist. Shoulders down, elbows back, chest high. Take a breath or two. And then inhale upright. Exhale around to the center and switch 
arms up into extended mat. Stretch high and come up on one toe so the opposite side that you're stretching stays flat. Feel those ribs open a little more and come down on that side, up on the other. Feel that lengthening, feel your spine moving. Exhale down, both arms back up. Palms to the ceiling, clasping your fingers, push way up. Keep the arms over your ears and the shoulders down. And feel your body just lengthening in that mountain position. Pivot forward with your arms by your ears. Push your sitting bones slightly back. Get parallel to the floor as much as you can. And then just drop into Red Doll. Take a moment hanging. Pull your hands behind your legs. Pull in even deeper with that stretch on your back if you like it. And then back to the center with your hands and wind once more back into mountain pose. Take a moment breathing. Just feel your body. Turn your toes out. Bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond. And one more little twist. So we're going to bring the shoulder across to the opposite knee. Stretch your spine apart, sitting bones one leg, crown right the other. And exhale, bring the shoulder down toward the opposite knee as you lift the hip you're turning toward. And turn your whole upper body for a nice twist. Stretch out. Exhale, turn back to the center. Spine nice and straight again. Shoulders back toward your waist. Exhale into the twist. Opposite side, bring the shoulder down and across. And the hip you're turning toward up a little bit as your whole spine twists to the side. And again, back to the center. Tuck in your chin slightly, turn your feet forward, and round back into mountain pose. Hands on your back, fingertips down toward your hips, base of the palms at the base of the, of the shoulder blades, and elbows in toward each other. Support your low back. And lift your heart again. Just a nice upper body back bend, lifting, stretching that spine. Stretch your head back, pull those elbows maybe a little closer. And then chin toward your chest. Inhale upright and release. Take a moment back in mountain pose. Send your over your feet, and we'll do a balance practice. So spread your toes. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. Activate your core. Make sure that that's supporting your low back, crown to the ceiling. When you're comfortable there, bring that other foot up a little or more or toward your heart. Make sure your foot doesn't cross over. Keep it straight down. And when you're stable, circle your ankle if you're stable. Both ways. Make sure it's nice and flexible today. And flex a point before you put your foot back down. Sink into that other side. Remember, the ball of the foot is connected, not the toes themselves. Spread them out. Keep that arch lifting all the way aligning. Core active. And crown reaching up as you bring the other leg up. Again, only as high as it wants to go. Breathing. Getting stable. And when you're stable, circle that ankle, both directions. Make sure it's flexible as you flex the point back down. On the ground, just take a moment, feeling all that stability in both feet. And exhale any tension. Bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. And then turn the palms out, bring them out slightly, and then raise one foot as you get into that balance, and bring the foot slightly further out into an X balance. Take a moment there, stabilize, breathe as deeply as you'd like. Maybe pivot a little more if that's working, straight to the side. And inhale back up. Bring your arms to the center. And again, palms toward each other, shoulders down. And once more, arms, palms out, coming slightly out. 
Get balanced into that opposite foot, spreading your toes, everything core activated, and bring the other foot slightly out to the side. A little X balance on that side. Go as far as you'd like, breathing. Take a little more if you're stable. And don't forget to keep breathing. And again, back straight to the center. Keep the arms by your ears, palms toward the front. And we'll do a straight stick pose, bring one foot back. Spread your toes on your balance foot and pivot at the hips coming slightly forward. If you wanna go further, feel free. If you're feeling stable today, I'm not. So just breathe. Go as far pivoting as you'd like. Stretch it out. And then inhale back up. And again, shoulders down, arms right above your shoulders. And we'll do that one to the other side. So again, stabilize your foot straight. Ankle, knee, shoulder lined up. Core active as you bring the foot back. Slightly up, pivoting forward at your hip. Take a moment to get there and breathe. And again, go as pivoting as you'd like or not, depending on your balance today. Exhale, tension. And when you're ready to come back up, both feet to the floor, extend your mountain, palms out to the sides, down into mountain pose. Work those shoulders in a few circles. Yeah, we kept them extended for a while. And breathe, relaxing, as you bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling. Lift your heart, come into a little gentle back bend. And then swan dive forward, arms out, pivot at your hips. Come all the way down into red dog. Up into your halfway up stretch, palms toward the ceiling. No, palms toward the shins. <laughs> back straight and knees straight. Bend your knees, come to the floor, into child's pose, and take a moment. Just relaxing forward. Forehead toward the floor, arms next to your sides. Take a breath. Just relax. And then bring your arms out to the Sides of your mat in front of you, pivoting up, slide the toes back, up the hips, feel that back bend as you roll your body all the way down into resting crocodile. Head to one side, hands, palms up at your hips, shoulders down, toes toward each other. Take a breath or two, just relax, and then exhale to the opposite side, your face. Relax completely, shoulders down, and then bring your chin to the mat and slide it slightly forward. We're going to do locus. Turn your palms down and your shoulders to the floor. Stretch your feet back, hip width apart, and keep the hips both on the floor as you raise one leg up straight. So right leg up, hips both down, knees straight, toes just gently point it out, stretch the base of the toes out, and the chin forward, shoulders down. Raise that leg only as high as it wants to go. Remember, we're strengthening the low back here, so don't go too far. Make sure that it's not uncomfortable in that low back. Just breathe, lift the leg maybe higher, but push the hip down and stretch it out. Exhale, lower the leg. And just relax. You can bring your forehead to the mat and unrelease that neck a little bit if you need to. And then again, chin slightly forward, palms down, shoulders down, toes back, feet hip width apart, and raise that other foot. Hips both down, so both the hip bones into the floor as much as you can as you extend out through the base of your toes. Up with that leg, knee straight as much as possible. Take a breath, relax the shoulders, breathe. Remember, if your neck ever feels more compromised than you want it, forehead back to the floor. Push the hip bones down, raise the leg maybe a little bit more. Feel that back doing some work. Let the spine do the work. 
and exhale, leg back down. Again, forehead to the floor, take a moment, breathing and relaxing, and then clasp your hands underneath you, and we'll both do both feet together. But a little harder, it may not go up as high, that's okay. Chin to the floor, slide it slightly forward, bring those shoulders and arms down into the mat. Feet hip width apart, toes stretching back, and lift both feet with the knees straight as much as possible, as high as you'd like. Push those hips down into your arms, lift the feet, and don't forget to breathe. Let the spine do the work supporting you. So a little pressure may be in the arms and shoulders, but not too much. Let those legs rise. Feel the spine. Don't go too far. If you've got any back issues, remember, keep the feet close to the floor as much as you need to. Take a breath. Lift the feet, maybe a little more. And when you're ready, exhale slowly down to the mat. Release your hands under your shoulders, tuck the chin in, forehead to the floor, feel the stretch, and then press back into your child's pose. Get a nice forward bend, counteracting that back bend. Just relax. And then inhale, sitting up, and bring your feet to the end of the mat. Come into staff position, sitting bones behind you, core active, shoulders above your hips, press out through your heels, toes pulling back. Feel the back so the legs get a nice stretch. And then use the core for support as you slowly lower to the floor. Come onto your low back, sacrum, and then onto your ribs and your shoulder blades and your shoulders, and finally your head. And just take a moment, recline into version there on the floor. Take a breath, exhale, bring those shoulder blades toward your waist, hands, palms up at your sides, and turn your hands, palms down. Press the sitting bones toward your heels, and bring the lower back down into the floor. Bend your knees straight up to the ceiling. Heels right next to your sitting bones. Remember, roll those thighs in at the top if you need to to make sure those knees go straight up. You don't want them crunching in together and you don't want them spreading apart, but straight up. So hips, knees, and ankles lined up. Shoulder, shoulder blades down. Exhale, press that back to the floor. And we're just doing a back strengthener. So lift the ribs and slide the sitting bones back towards your shoulders. So arching up, space between the shoulder blades and the sitting bones is high off the floor as much as your low back wants. Exhale, sitting bones back towards your heels, back all the way down into the mat, and the roots sinking. So feel that core contract a little bit as you go down. Personal practice, do what's right for your back, but this is a nice physical therapy, a low back strengthener for your back. Arching up and pressing down. Inhale, let that whole spine arch from the shoulder blades all the way to the sitting bones. And then exhale, pressing down, sliding those sitting bones towards your heels, the whole back connecting to the floor. Remember, this is a really good one to do first thing in the morning just to kind of gently activate, maybe even before you get out of bed. So just relax into it, feeling that core working and that spine moving. And then come back into a neutral position, hands still down next to your hips, and press the back down. Make sure those knees are still hip width apart. Press evenly into your feet and bring the hip bones straight up toward the ceiling. Come into a nice gentle bridge, chin towards your chest slightly. Stay on your shoulders, not your neck as you move up into a little bit higher arch, perhaps. Weight even on both feet. Clasp your hands under you with one finger inside. Press your arms and hands down. And again, move a little higher onto the tops of your shoulders, if that works. 
for your body. Arch up, breathe, feel that back bend just gently through the whole lower body. Exhale, any tension. And then releasing your hands, palms down. Release your shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine all the way down. Feel that activated core and spine a little bit more. And of course, we're going to do the bridge up exactly the same, but with the opposite clasp. So put the other finger on the inside. So once more, hands, palms down, shoulders down. Exhale, slide those sitting bones towards your heels back down. Keep the knees straight up, not spreading apart. Inhale, and again, lift into a gentle bridge. Stay there if that's enough for you always. Or clasp the opposite finger inside as you push your hands and arms into the floor, working onto your shoulders. And come up as high onto the tops of your shoulders as you want without your neck being on the floor. So make sure your head is on the mat, back of the head, and shoulders supporting you along with the feet. Press down into your arms and feet and the back of your shoulders as you lift up into that bridge arch. Take a breath, lifting only as high as your body wants to go. And then exhale, palms down, shoulders down, and again, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine to the floor. Take a breath, just feel your body. Exhale any tension. We're going to do a variation on that. So once again, hands, palms down, sitting bones towards your heels, back pressing down, and arching up into your gentle bridge. Clasp your hands just gently, arms down, and shoulders supporting you onto the tops of the shoulders as much as you're comfortable with. You can have your hands clasped or palms down next to you. And we're going to make sure those knees stay hip width apart as you bring one foot up off the floor and extend it out parallel to the opposite leg. So keep both hip bones moving up evenly. Just come as far into that as you'd like. Feel the spine doing the work supporting you. And then bend the knee and bring the foot back to the floor, releasing your hands, again, coming down to the mat. Take a breath. Exhale any tension, and as you get ready to yell one more time, we're going to do a bridge. So again, feet hip width apart, check those knees, make sure they're in the right position. Hands, palms down, shoulders down, arms gently pressing as you push the sitting bones towards your heels and lift your hips once more. Opposite clasp for your hand, coming into that hand clasp, rising onto your shoulders if that works for you. Again, make sure your head, not your neck, is on the floor as you lift your hips and breathe. And when you're ready, release that left leg or opposite one that you did before and leg parallel to the opposite leg. Stretch out through the base of the toes. Lift those hips maybe a little higher. Press your arms, hands, and shoulders down. Back of the head, not your neck. Take a moment breathing, feeling those hips. Make sure they're even and the knees as well. And then exhaling, foot back to the floor, knees straight toward the ceiling, releasing your hands, your shoulders, and your spine. Take a moment to bring those knees up toward your chest, maybe around a little bit, giving a stretch to where we were contracting that spine. And then feet to the floor, arms at T position, and we'll do a little twist before our final relaxation. Sitting bones toward your heels as always, and back gently down as you lift your feet off the floor. If you want a little extra work in that low back today, you can cross your knee over and roll toward that side. Knees right at hip level, coming into the twist. Shoulders stay down, palms up or down with your hands, and turn your head toward that opposite wrist. Take a breath. Just exhale, letting the knees come toward the floor as far as they are. If you've crossed the knee over, you may feel a little bit more stretch in that low back. Don't go too far. Just exhale, 
relaxing in whatever position you're in. Come into your maximum for your twist, never over giving. Take a breath, just relax. And then heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. Uncross the legs if you cross, you can straighten things out if that feels appropriate. And then again, knees above your hips, cross the leg over if you did and want to do it on this side. And again, draw the knee across toward the floor, right at hip level as you turn the knee or the head toward the opposite arm. Shoulders both pressing down toward the floor for that middle back twist as well. So remember, the further your knees go toward the floor, you'll more of it feel it in the low back. Be gentle as you need to. Always have a pad nearby or a pillow if you need it as well. And turning for that neck area, remember also gentle there if you have neck issues. Just breathe, relaxing into your twist, letting the body align and balance for our final relaxation. And then when you're ready to release, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, uncross your legs, slide the feet toward the end of the mat, bring the hands, palms up near your sides, coming into corpse position for that final relaxation. Deep breath in, let the shoulders and upper body release, relax your fingers, relax your belly, your hips, your legs, your feet. Roll the toes toward each other slightly and then just relax your legs. Move your head gently side to side, release your neck. Just allow your body to soften and sink, going heavier as it deepens into that earth support. Fully relaxing, completely aligned, totally balanced. Now as your body relaxes into the earth support, you let it go. And let other thoughts of your mind release as well. Let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. No not need to think about anything at all. Just let the thoughts drift on your breath. Unnoticed, unneeded. Relaxing into that post support, allowing your body to release, your mind to relax, and your awareness to turn to the peace within. Take a few moments breathing, being peace. And as always, if you have time to keep relaxing today, take all the opportunity you have. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you this time. Breathing more fully, stretching more completely as you become ready to do so. And when it's time for your final yoga hug of appreciation, when you're sitting bones toward your heels, Draw your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around whatever feels right for you today. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug for the work your body did in yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.